Yeah, man. Shit just shit just be different these days, man. You know. Do, do, do real niggas exfoliate? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> niggas do something. Nigg- lather. That's, <laughs> lather is a wild word. Nigga, 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 <laughs> lather, gather the soap in them and use the washroom. <laughs> lather is a wild ass word. Like lather, I wish lather and moist, nigga, nigga. Who just came up with moist? Ooh, this shit feel moist, like nigga. nigga. Like, yo, don't ever say that shit around me again. <laughs> but, yo, we are here. This is the first inaugural episode Bro. of us doing these motherfucking album reviews and shit. Yeah, man. I go by your the, the your who name? My name? Your name? <laughs> I don't know, I don't new, know what the fuck I was show. trying to say. It's a whole new show now, nigga. You can be the one name. One. I go by the name, regular the name. It's your boy here, man. Ace motherfucking boogie, man. Yeah, I'm just a nigga. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's how they look at me, man. So, but, uh, and this you know, ain't I'm even his final me. form. No, no, no. I'm still. Hey, look, nigga, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't cleaned up for y'all. I didn't got the money off me now, nigga. I'm good. <laughs> what that nigga freezer say, you fool, this isn't even my final form. Oh, oh man, Andy still be YOB, so you already know what it is. Gang gang. Already. Make sure y'all go check out that BYOB podcast too. But right now, we got these yes, sir. album reviews. Yes, sir. We know what y'all be wanting to hear. That 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 unorthodox shit that's not on uh yeah. no type of platform just as of yet. But if you do like, yeah. subscribe. Or y'all like could this. y'all could pick us up though. We we yeah, <laughs> put we us on rotation. It. We with it. We need that ad money. Yeah. <laughs> we, <laughs> I'm trying no to cop this PS5. PS5 pre-sales went on, on sale today. I, I need that. <laughs> Them shits went on yesterday. I seen a nigga say, I'm going to go ahead and drop this 750 I look and posted the receipt oh, in that Oh, yeah, thing. for the bundle. Man, nigga, nigga, I was looking for his credit card number. I was trying to get that nigga. I was <laughs> looking for his body. Well, but ah. They spending that money. They spending yeah. that money. But fuck PS5 sometimes. Yeah, that Series X, that Series X is coming. I'm waiting for that. So I let niggas wait. At least all these niggas wait. You know they they go ahead and spend. So that mean that mean I know for a fact that Series X gonna be <laughs> gonna be in stores for a nigga. Nigga saw that tag. If you ain't really about that, you ain't gonna drop that bread. So you <laughs> go ahead and get that S. Go get diet diet Xbox, and we, and we gonna get the full version. Yeah, cause I need to I need to be able to put the disc in. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So, but yeah, uh, let's let's get to it. Let's Big Sean, Big Detroit Sean. 2, long awaited. Man, I got, I, I, I want to start off by saying I got mm. a lot of flack. I want to say a long time ago about talking about Big Sean and how yeah. he up there in that tier with Cole and Drake and all these other people that he came in with. And it was like, what? And then I I jumped out my body. I will say it here. And I did apologize to the group of friends that I had. <laughs> that we had J. Cole, Big Sean dispute. You know what I'm saying? And I chose Big Sean. You know what I'm saying? I was like, I understand y'all fuck with Cole. But then in the meantime, in between time, Cole did a lot of shit. Yeah. Cole put a lot of shit out. And... I had to switch and get Cole that, all right, you got you got that upper hand on Big Sean. But what I was trying to get across the whole time is this motherfucker ain't nobody to sleep on. Man. Nah, Sean, lyrically, Sean, lyrically Sean is in the upper echelon, man. I don't give a fuck who think what else about it. But the niggas lyrically, he's he's there lyrically. Yeah, so. he's good. He's he's good and from the mixtape, from the, especially from the yeah. final mixtape, he always been hard. He always had the bars with it. They just not... His his style of rap, everybody not used to. On top of having a Detroit flow, yeah. like with the fast shit, a lot of people can't keep up. Some of y'all niggas can't even read, but it's okay. That's why we here and we got audio. We what, Jay, what Jay to say? Y'all niggas got embarrassed in the class when the teacher used to make y'all read. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, that's a, I mean, it happens. But if you can't keep up, like, but these bars that they be spitting out, they oh, these yeah. Detroit rappers. All the Detroit rappers that I know have that similar type of aspect with them, but they are lyrically solid. So what you saying is Sada Baby is top five? Hell fucking no. 
The fuck that. I, the fuck that. I can't. I don't know. <laughs> I, not, not saying. He just. I can't get with his style of rap. And we talk about. We talk about Big Sean right now. We talk about Big Sean. Right? We talk about Big Sean, man. That's Shout out to Sada though. He got. He got a fan base yeah. for a reason. I'm yeah, he do. I mean, he did what he was supposed to do. But as soon as oh. Grizzly pop, he found it. <laughs> he found his lane. and He made it work. He did. He definitely yeah. Did. Let's get into it. So man, this album to me, this shit was crazy. Like it was. It was a very it was a very good album. I know a lot of people thought it was gonna be beat uh Detroit one, which I knew that shit won't go happen. I'm it's like, gonna be hard for him to top that. Pocket. That's why I say it's a whole <laughs> it's different good. pocket. So I'm gonna just listen to this album as it's a brand new album from somebody I yeah. had heard in a long time. And he he fulfilled all of that. He did yeah. that with the features, with the track choice, with the lyrics. He filled every pocket of all of that for me. So yeah. I'm with it. Oh. I definitely fuck with it as a whole. I mean, just before we get into all of this, what was your favorite track uh, out of all of these? I don't know if I got one favorite yet, but I really, I'm really like, so Deep Reverence don't count. Cause I'm biased as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when, it, when it come to that nip, I'm just I'm biased. That's so. not even on my list. I know that shit. <laughs> <laughs> like everybody who know us, know what I'm saying they know that nigga. When it come to nip, niggas is biased. And this was before this was before his death. Like mm-hmm. niggas was been all they got it. They could check. They could check, man. They 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 seen us. Yeah. They yeah, seen they us before be. the motherfucking um. Before the motherfucking music festivals and shit, talking about Nip and how we was, this nigga should better win this motherfucking Grammy when it hey, comes out. So. <laughs> they know how I feel about it, man. RIP, RIP to everybody we done lost, man. First, let me get so that before we many. even get deep into so this. Many. So let many. me throw that out there. RIP to all the artists, all the people we done lost, man. COVID crazy. We know y'all got all types of shit going on. We'll probably get into that another episode, but. You know, yeah. keep everything positive vibes and all that good stuff. <laughs> R.I.P. to those we lost, man. A lot of musicians we lost. Uh, Chad with Bozeman, another one. That, that, that Out of nowhere. Just, yeah, that's so, I mean, R.I.P. to everybody. Prayers for their family. Prayers for everybody going through what they're going through right now. So, yeah. Yeah, but we here but, to um, talk about this, this big Sean, though. Know, yeah, so, I don't know, man. One of, the, one of the first ones that really, like, stood out to me, I don't know if it was the Sonics on it or what, man, but that Wolves. Yeah. <laughs> that Wolves. That motherfucker there, boy. <laughs> that motherfucker there. I first heard it, and I thought about the blend of him and Post yeah. Malone and how that would come out, but the first thing I thought about before I even thought about that was Post Malone don't miss on no features. Nah. Post Malone Maybe. don't really miss. I, I'll be the nigga to say it. He don't really miss in general. But on yeah, features, yeah. A lot of people slept on that boy album. Like, because yeah. the niggas really don't fuck with him like that. But his album Politics. was cool. I done heard this nigga hold his own and damn near do better on a song with Meek Mill and Lil Baby. Yeah. I can't tell too many people that's doing that right now. So, yeah. but on this Wolves track, he. I was waiting to hear it, and then as soon as he started rapping, it was like, yeah. okay, Post Malone did his thing, but Big Sean, he has that melodical kind yeah. of vibe. Too, that's his so. bag. Yeah, that's his bag yeah. anyway. That's his he bag. Matched so. He matched it a hundredfold. So I was like, well, that's a, that's a hit record right there. It's going to play wherever you play it. Over here, got there, yeah. out there, and outer space. That shit going to be a <laughs> fucking hit. <laughs> This shit gonna be hard, regardless of where the fuck you choose to put that bitch on that. But yeah, I fuck with Wolves. Um, that motherfucking the shit with him and Thug, crazy. Yeah, the shit with you. and we not going in no chronological order. We not doing oh, no, no, no. oh track track one then track nah. We gonna no, no, no. we gonna talk about yeah, him as yeah. they fucking come to our head. Hey, exactly. <laughs> what do you like? Listen, what you like? That's what what you know the rest of. You know I might I might fuck around and say number one, the song number one last, and it might be my favorite <laughs> shit up there. You just ain't gonna know. You better watch the whole review, goddammit. Hey, exactly. <laughs> like, subscribe, all of that down there. <laughs> what they say? Link <laughs> down <laughs> below. <laughs> Link down below. Yeah. But yeah, um, I definitely fuck with that joke. Um, that... uh, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, because I was gonna switch songs. Oh no no no! I'm, I'm about to say just to talk about that. Yeah yeah. Thug, thug, 
when he gets on his tracks, I feel like now he he pinpoints his tracks. Oh yeah. He knows what tracks. If he wanna blow, only thing he know he gotta do is call T.I. That's the number one hit right there. Just yeah. they vibe together on any and they got a new one out. And for real, I ain't even listened to it, but as soon as I saw it, I said, I know that shit gonna go hard. I'll get to that shit later. Yeah. Like that's how I really looked at it. But I was listening to other things, but uh Thug. Thug and Big Sean was another one of them team up. So I was like, let me see how they vibe. Yeah, this shit might not be. They gonna, they gonna do because I thought Thug yeah. was gonna take over the whole song. Big Sean, I guess, or after that control shit, he realized we don't do nigga, that. Nigga, I'm taking control of every situation from yeah. here on out. I <laughs> wish a nigga would. <laughs> yeah, make sure because Thug verse was hard. He got a hard verse. I think everybody that spit on this album had a hard verse in general. <laughs> Yeah, it it made for it, but certain people just stood out, and just like how we were talking about Wolves with Post Malone, I got that same feeling with this song with Respected, with Young yeah. Thug and Big Sean. What yeah. you think on it? I fuck with it, man. Like the Thug gonna be Thug. You know what I'm saying? Like the way Thug ran that shit at the end, and Thug said some shit too. Like he yeah, just. He did. He was talking. He was talking. <laughs> Doug said some <laughs> shit too. So um nah, I definitely fuck with it. Definitely one of the one of the solid shits up there. Another um another shit, when I seen the names, I was like, yeah, this shit is definitely going on the radio before I even heard it. And that was that motherfucking uh the shit with Ty Dollar Sign and Janae Aiko. Oh yeah. <laughs> that shit. That was him and Janae, him and Janae, they fucking. They fucking and they, they fucking, always fucking. Do it don't matter who they it don't matter who they deal with it don't they chemistry they vibes whatever meditation or crystal stones and shit they be having nigga I need some of them shits every day nigga because them shits is live and they working and it's yeah. getting them money. they definitely they definitely like fuck by like waterfalls with uh rocks and shit like <laughs> with colored rocks and shit around them i know that they motherfucking chakra stones and shit but colored rocks just sound way funnier fuck y'all hey, look, 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 i'm weak because i don't know nothing about none of that shit but i'm just saying <laughs> nah because you know in the comments they gonna be like god damn it it's leah mythonite <laughs> you know what i mean they just them, they be knowing all the motherfucking rock names and whatever shit. Whatever that shit it's is. It's Leah Mithonite, goddammit. Whatever it is that works, that make they vibe or whatever it is, what they is, I feel like everybody need that. Yeah, they like, you know y'all can make just fuck and make good music. That shit yeah. is amazing. Fuck it. That shit you is know what lot. make them vibe at, at the high vibration that they vibe at? And what is that? Vibranium. Vibranium. Hey, let's <laughs> just like, Hey, you know what? Let me take a, a, a sip on that one. Oh, I'm violating. I don't even got no cup. Hold up. You big tripping. Hold up. We'll be right back after a message from... And our sponsors. We don't have no sponsors yet, but we'll be right back after a message from... But if you would like to sponsor us, just know you can contact me and Ja at any time. Either and one or both. It don't matter. Ace underscore up? boogie 757 on Instagram. <laughs> ja up. just living. All right, we back. You <laughs> just said animated break. I had to pee too. And we had to go get right. So this blue cup shit was not playing. Y'all just know the vibes. Y'all just know the vibes. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, that um that motherfucking body language, that shit gonna that shit gonna be a radio, yeah, a radio. The lady gonna like. love it, Janae talking her shit. And Ty Dolla Sign don't miss, bro. On features, you know, he, that he nigga is. don't miss. He need to go ahead and yo, Ty. Album, nigga, what's up? Like, hey, look, you can't talk, talk, tie fighting cases, tie fighting. That's why he just now probably allowed to put music out, and that's why you see everything he's been dropping back mm -hmm. to back been fucking fire. Cause I mean, it just is, it's like that. That it's nigga like don't that. miss, man. And Big Sean can't reach out there and get that real quick. You put Janae and Ty Dollar on some, and you, you don't even have to get the nigga came on the bitch. He was going through at this time. This nigga here. Why? This is what he was going through at this time, and all this stuff on this album is is just a product of that. And Body Language was one of them songs where he was just like, "Hey yo, I feel like taking off right now, talking. Let's <laughs> let's get into some vibes. Let's get into some let's shit. I can some make some vibes. And that's what it was, and that's what it is. So that's good. A good pickup. Yeah. Um. Another shit I fucked with. 
I mean, do we even have to say deep rap? We don't really got it. We, I mean, we got to because it's on the yeah, album, but yeah, nigga, all right, I'll be up too, nigga, forever. But like the crazy shit about deep reverence is the song is crazy, <laughs> but you could tell the shit was unfinished at the mm. same time. But it's like the shit was unfinished and it still came out crazy as a motherfucker. Yeah, part of me I was conflicted because it's one of them things where I'm like, damn. My nigga Big Sean got to get off, but mm -hmm. Nip couldn't come back. You know how Nip was with his verses. Like, nigga, I could I could have added a little something extra because Big Sean ran at the end. Oh, yeah. At the end, he ran. He ran yeah. with it at the end. And I was like, that nigga Nip would have been like, nah, nigga. Let me get some, <laughs> let me get some of the back end on that verse, nigga. You had just ain't gonna just speed off like that. I can hear home. I, I can hear Nip now, like, nah, homie, I need that. Nigga, <laughs> like, I, 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 on Victory Lap, I watched this nigga do it to Kendrick. So I yeah. knew you was going to do it to Big Sean. Like, I knew you. It was just one of them things. But Oh, uh, yeah, you ain't going to come on my song rapping all fast. <laughs> Thank you, my nigga. But he got the verse, and the verse still sticks to this day. Yeah. It's crazy. It yeah. still sticks. All, I feel like all of them verses going to be like that. Yeah. So, so I fought with it. Um, What you felt about that shit with Anderson Pack? Anybody who know me, I ain't know I ain't a big Anderson yeah. Pack fan, but I, I actually like him on this shit, man. But you know who else on that? Oh, I know while they talk this shit. But look, look, look though. I don't know if you remember, but I remember. It was a B O Y B uh podcast that we had did. Mm -hmm. And I was talking about <laughs> Big Sean and J. Cole and that meetup mm -hmm. and all that stuff. And so it was always turmoil in that like little three circle with Cole and Wale and all of them. And when Cole and Wale did the track a while back, I was like, oh, all this shit is done with. Yeah. And I was like, so all of them go start getting back on tracks with each other together. And I was waiting to hear Big Sean and Wale both on a song together. Cause yeah. in a sense, they kind of both spit that same shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's it, where Wale is more black entailed with it Dog. Big Sean kind of <laughs> to nigga Wale got them the shit he said about Drew Brees and all that. Like hey, look, look, look. I knew I knew it was coming, but the alley from Big Sean and his verse oh, to yeah. that motherfucker, it was it was it just flowed and it yeah. took me back to that whole cold college day run back in the day yeah. when all the movies was running that college shit. Yeah, it took me back to that, and that's why I love it. So, and then with the new school of Anderson <laughs> Pack, it was like that shit was perfect. Yeah, another hit. He can't miss another yeah. hit. He he, I right on features. I just, I don't know. It's just something about him. Like I like some of his shit, man. I don't want to seem like I don't fuck with Anderson Pack. It's just like he don't really grab me with a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? When we on a uh, lot of features though, like the shit with him and um the shit the shit on Gibb shit. Like oh yeah, yeah. like but you know. I mean, but you think about that though. It's with Nas. His shit with Nas. Yeah. It went hard. Yeah. Like that, that and I was lane, really wondering how that shit was gonna sound yeah, too. That lane, like, that lane is his lane. It's yeah. just sometimes he take some other routes in the sense of when me and you went to something in the water festival. Yeah. Nigga Chris Brown came out there, got down, was ready to tear that bitch down. But Anderson Pack and his people was up there before him. And remember that shit rained out, but Anderson Pack and his his group they kept the motherfuckers out there in the rain. Yeah, they kept them no, out there in the rain. They was excited. We had a good time. That's yeah, a fact. A <laughs> that's a fact. But but I mean, so hearing him on a Big Sean record, I already knew it was dope. I was just basically trying to listen to how Big Sean and Wale was both going to collaborate on the song, and that shit they was playing. Yeah. So. How you felt about the um the everything missing shit? Mm. Track eight. <laughs> everything missing. Ah, I, I don't even think that's one of the ones that I even. I think I probably listened to it twice. Yeah, I probably listened to it a couple of times, but it didn't. That one really didn't grab me. But it wasn't one that was bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know You're saying it was something I could vibe to, but it wasn't really one I was into. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's, I don't know, that's, I'm weird with shit, because that's like my type of sound, like, that yeah. laid back, 
know what I mean? Real goddamn yeah. Bobby. Let me, let me vibe. Let me let yeah. me vibe real quick. Let me vibe. But everybody who know me, they know I'm an emo ass nigga. So <laughs> like, all the emo music, nigga. I'm I'm I love it. N- nigga, we all we always into that shit. Just whenever we in that mood, nigga. It's okay. just one of them. But yeah, I mean, all he was saying on the shit is pretty much like, nigga, temptation is just an illusion. Yeah, like, those are my words. Like, if y'all get that shit tattooed, put Good my job. name under it. Job. Make sure y'all subscribe to that shit. Make sure y'all subscribe. is an illusion, goddamn it. Make sure y'all remember that I said that shit. But yeah, no, that's pretty much what it is. Because at the end of the shit, he was like, yo, you did all this to get all this shit just to find out you already had everything you ever needed. Like, within the people around. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, True. I mean. I'll fuck with it. But. What other ones we got? Hey, look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a start. I'm a start with the full circle. Okay. I gotta, I gotta jump in. I gotta jump in with the full circle. Diddy, as soon as I saw who was on it, I was like, <laughs> wow, where did this motherfucker come from? And oh, this, and oh, this nigga got Diddy. And then I, once I saw Diddy was on it, everybody know my vibes, nigga. Yeah. Rose and Diddy on some shit, I know how it's gonna turn out. When I yeah. know Big Sean and Diddy is on some shit, I just know that shit is gonna get ignorant. I knew from the minute it started. And, and Diddy, Diddy was talking that shit. Diddy was shit. talking shit. I was like, Diddy, Diddy talking this shit. This Diddy shit is was over talking with. that said, shit. This, is, this song is over with already. I already know what's about to happen because Big Sean, I don't remember Big Sean having a Diddy verse. If, if he has, yeah. I, I apologize, but I don't remember. Once you get the Diddy verse, you're there. You're at the tape. You at the Rockefeller brunch. You at you there. You, yeah, you're, you're damn right. And hey, look. He so got, he got old Diddy. Yeah, he got shit talking, motherfucking, motherfucking. We can't stay alive forever. We we <laughs> he got that Diddy. He got victory. He got victory. Diddy. <laughs> I was like. Yeah, nobody that somebody kills you type diddy. That'll be. But yeah, um Key Wayne though. Key Wayne did his thing. That's what I was about to say. So at this point, it, are we giving this nigga Key Wayne his roses being one of the best in-house producers out there? We got to. Cause I mean, Drake got 40. Yeah. Oh fucking like niggas got like Key Wayne has been consistent with Big Sean since every, the every beginning, day. yo. Yeah, everything. That's his man. And, and he talked and, that shit up there on this song. Too. <laughs> yeah, well, that was the thing. It's like, this is this is why I fucks with it so much because it's like Big Sean knew. It's like Big Sean yeah. knew he wanted to like nigga. I'm good. I can get Diddy on the track. You know what I'm gonna do? Put the nigga I came in this bit. Get this nigga in here. And matter of fact, nigga rap. Nigga rap. Niggas don't even know you. I know because nigga, we be chilling and shit. But nigga, just go ahead and rap. And spit for hey, these look, niggas. If I was Sean, I'd have came up there like I'd have came up that motherfucker like, dang, this the producer. This the producer. <laughs> he don't even rap. Nigga hit me. Hey, job. Ja. Hey, Ja, this is my nigga LeBron James. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, it's a oop. He's throwing everybody oops and at the same time body and shit. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. You can't take Big Sean out of that elite group. He's throwing oops to niggas just because he feel like it. Yeah. That's so. crazy to me. But, yeah, that 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 that's one of my favorite. That's my, I think that's might be my favorite. I think that might be my favorite. Album. It's... It's in my it's in my top five on the song, and I it's, it's safe to say a top five because the nigga got twenty one songs on this bitch. Yeah, so we just doing the one that you like right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, we just doing the standout. Any other songs yeah. up there that you go listen to it and you are already know. So um, let's let's get the elephant in the room song out the way. Oh, oh, okay. Lithu- Lithuania. How uh, the fuck you say that shit? It was, it was, it was. It sounded needed. like sicko mode to me. Yeah, yeah. It was sicko it, mode it was part def- two. It was definitely needed. It was definitely needed. And then when I like how when he get his, when Big Sean knows he's drowning. Yeah. He puts that switch in his songs to where he be like, I can bring this shit right back if I feel yeah. like it. And he did it. And it was like, 
You knew what you was doing. And, and you got the Travis Scott. You got the Travis Scott feature. Yeah. It's like, this nigga selling burgers, my nigga. Like, the nigga is <laughs> At McDonald's. Burgers, <laughs> At McDonald's of all places. This aspect, all of this shit that he's doing right now is fun to him, but he's doing it with his friends so everybody yeah. is making money. Yeah. He's just throwing oops to niggas. He's just throwing <laughs> oops to niggas. That's why I love a nigga. Like, yeah, I'm like, yo, this yeah. nigga is one of the dopest artists in hip hop. Like, you can't, you can't knock him. And, and he didn't Scott. do the marketing way. Because, you know, most times yeah. when you get a nigga like Travis Scott, you make his verse like last. Or you make it the second verse. So you make niggas stick around to hear it. Like, he let the nigga start the song go. Mm-hmm. Like, sure you did. know what? You go ahead and kick this shit off, man. Hey, and, look, and when he did it, he did it. He did it in a way where Travis knew, like, nigga. It's, it's one of them things where you like, hey, nigga, let's get this money. Yeah. Like, nah, let's get this money. <laughs> Nigga, you do this, I do this, and we go get this money. And it's like, all right, nigga, cool, fuck it, and we gonna have fun in the process, nigga. That's like, it. And we gonna do it. it and that, and shit like that makes that vibe, all of that, those energies, and all of that mm -hmm. makes it into good music. Yeah. And so when you hear it, it could be a song like Lithuania, is not in my top five. But no, 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 no. It's, it's, it's a guaranteed it's, radio. It's a guaranteed fucking and, banger. And, 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 exactly. He gonna exactly. get a billion spins off that motherfucker. If they so. play that shit in whatever situation, I'm a vibe to it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a vibe to it. and it and it's it is, it just is what it is. But it's, the video is gonna be fucking stupid. Oh, you haven't seen it yet? Oh, it's a video for that shit already out. Go oh. ahead, check that. Go ahead, how, check that. How hey, fucking look. professional am I? I'm so. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you just, you just. I seen the harder than my demons video. Hey, look, you, the, the demons is in this cup right now. Yeah. That's what's going on. But I mean, for the last shit, for the last two weeks, I've been dealing with a motherfucking death in the family too. Okay, so yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I've yeah. been kind of out the loop. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? Music gets niggas through shit. So I've been listening to the album. But yeah, you got a vibe sometimes. You got a vibe sometimes, man. But listen. The next one, Zen the fuck out. How you feel about how you feel about that one? Don't fuck up my vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fuck up that my nigga, vibe. That nigga is going through so much shit. That nigga was going through so what much. What that nigga shit. say? Don't bitch, don't talk to me like I'm not. Don't talk to me like that, like I'm not me. Like, me. Like I'm not like I'm not as big as my name. Like, I like bitch, I'm as yo, big as my name. Do not like, talk to me like I'm not me. Like the fuck is wrong with nigga, you? My nigga be going through breakups in public eye, nigga. He like, I'm just trying to chill, my yeah, nigga. Yeah, his ex just died. He ain't been with her in five years. They trying to blink. Like they nigga got this so nigga much shit canceled. going on. When I heard Zen the fuck out, and then Zen the fuck out, out when I seen Zen the fuck out was a, a song, cause yeah. I saw it, they had the acronym up there. I'm like, what the fuck? So I looked at, I'm like, what the fuck? I was like, okay. And I'm like, all right. When I listened to it, I was like, oh, this nigga high as hell. This nigga, <laughs> this nigga, like, fuck it, I'm about to talk my shit. And I was like, all right, let's let's hear. Him. We didn't heard Cole talk his shit. Yeah. We don't heard Drake talk his shit. I'm like. Let me hear this nigga goddamn Big Sean just go go off. And then yeah. Zen the fuck out came on. I was like, all right, okay. This this, this him just getting tired of shit. Like, fuck y'all yeah. niggas. All right, Stay I'm away gonna, from fucked up lumpy. energy. <laughs> <laughs> Stay away from fucked up energy. And and that's they look, that's all niggas trying to do. That's all niggas trying to do. Your average day nigga working nine to five. The motherfucker who making millions. Niggas just trying to leave me the yeah. fuck out. So look, before we get into the um the skits, and look, I know whoever watching right now, they itching. They like, why they ain't mentioned such and such yet? Don't worry, motherfucker. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. When we feel like it, nigga. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> wait on it. I got no. a sleeper though. So what's your what's your sleeper up here? Uh my sleeper, the joint with Wayne. Uh, hard. Hard. Don Life, yeah, that shit was hard. Yeah, that, that shit, it, 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 it was to the point where if you get a Wayne verse, it's like, all right, am I going to get this Wayne or am I going to get the old Wayne? But I, I know when Wayne. I seen them two together, I knew it was going to be fire because, like, nigga, deep. Yep. Everybody rapping fast. 
Yeah. Nah, you, you heard that shit deep, right? The shit that they did on his his other oh, album. Oh, like, oh, the old John. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was on that. And it's like, yo, them two niggas, they got a chemistry that I don't think a lot of people realize. But I didn't I didn't realize yeah. it. I was like, I just thought about it. I was like, they had they did deep together. And I was like, yeah. they did. And I was like, that shit won't bad. That shit was not bad at all. And I was like, oh, okay. Now thinking about it, yeah. So I'm a, when I go back and listen to it now, I'm gonna be thinking about that verse on deep. And then I'm gonna think about this to see who, yeah. who did who did what. So that's definitely something I gotta check out. But um, like to me, it was a you get the Wayne verse, you gotta step up to it. And Big Sean, as always steps up to the plate and gives you a verse where you gonna listen and at mm-hmm. the same time he gonna be spitting them bars to you so. yo um i don't know how true it is and this shit is old as fuck but i heard that wayne was actually supposed to be on click too but some shit had happened like you know when click came out that's when he was going through all the all the shit with the uh, baby yeah. so but i want to know what that fucking verse was gonna sound like you got Big Sean, got, Hope, and Kanye, and Wayne. Yeah, you got a lot of people up there. You got to figure out. Right. Kanye probably the reason that shit ain't happened, but we all know he now he got shit going on with him. So yeah, we gonna leave that as is. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, my sleeper. Before What's we get sleeper? to the skits, still I rise. The shit with Dom Kennedy. I hate Dom. <laughs> I can't say that. <laughs> I love Dom Kennedy as an artist. My nigga, just take off. Just stop playing with niggas and take the fuck <laughs> off. Like, my nigga, you gave this nigga what? A hook? <laughs> like, you yeah. gave this nigga a hook, and that shit is a certified banger, nigga. I ain't gonna lie. When I, seen, when I seen the name of the song and I seen who was on it, I was like, oh. This about to be double. This about to be I another knew, double. I knew, it. I knew it. I was like, man, this shit hard. <laughs> then I heard the beat and I was like, oh, Dom about to run this shit. And even though he didn't run it, the song's still hard though. It and that's the problem because I like the song, but every time I hear it and I, I needed this Dumbo, nigga up there, up there, up there. Like, <laughs> Just get up there and give me a hot. I heard, listen. I even heard if you only give niggas eight. Bruh, the last something. thing I heard from Dom Kennedy was the LeBron James joint. That I told you I got that early shit. And I got the LeBron James joint with Jay Stone and Nip. And yeah. these niggas was high as hell. And they was just freestyling and rapping. And I yeah. was like, Bruh, this nigga Dom is one of the dopest artists coming out of the West, period. Like, and been so, consistent. And been consistent. But he like, I'm playing. But I understand. I understand. I get it as an artist. Sometimes you don't want to deal with all that extra shit. Like, yeah. you just want to be regular. So you just want to be a regular nigga, but you are that nigga. Who could I put you with? Big Sean, who is a regular nigga. Regular is <laughs> famous nigga, nigga ever. And I'm like, man, this song going to be crazy. And Dom gave me that shit. And I was like, well, not that shit. You gave me a dope ass song, but I want you to go in there and tear their fucking heads off. Just go yeah. get the bag. Go get the bag, fuck it. But that's just my personal opinion. That's just my personal yeah. opinion. But it was a, as all in the same, it's a dope ass song that he's gonna have on his legendary album. Oh yeah, that's it. So, so let's get into these skits. You want to go in order, or you want to start with? <laughs> which, which one you want to start with? Fuck it, it's only three of them, so we could go in order. So the first one is Dave Chappelle. Talk about that's how. Good. Dave can, bomb. Dave can get away with anything. Dave can do anything. He can call white people crackers in their face, and it's perfectly <laughs> fine. And I love him for that. He can I'm throw crackers fan. at white people. He can write their name on it and throw it at them. He <laughs> one of them people we need to protect, bro. Yeah. Because I don't know. A lot of us being gone that's, that's out here showing, like, the strong, yeah. black, solid shit that we is right now. Like, yeah. we... And he one of them people we need to protect because Netflix is letting this motherfucker loose. And every goddamn shit he done did has been like exactly what it's supposed to be. And they about and, and let loose is an understatement. Them niggas is just like, look, we're gonna pay you and you just 
Just upload. Look, we gonna give you the account information. You just upload the video when you done, nigga. Like we don't even want to screen it or nothing. That's what they said. They give him all production shit on top of that. He, yeah. They cut this nigga a check. They cut this nigga a big check. But he taking it like, all right, and I'm still do exactly what the fuck I want to do. So hearing that story with how he was fucking with Danny Brown, we know Danny Brown. Yeah. I don't expect <laughs> Dave Chappelle to know Danny Brown. Like, Danny Brown is a crackhead who raps. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's exactly who he is. So... When you telling me you met a crackhead that rap, and then you gonna try to walk out there and tell jokes, and you bomb, nigga, I believe. After, number one, he bombed because he smoked the shit that Danny hey, Brown gave him. Like, Danny Brown probably set you up, my nigga Dave. So when he telling the story, I'm like, I believe it. I believe it. I believe it. And then no. when he said the older nigga that talked him down from being high With is Big Sean. Sean Daddy. And I'm like, nigga, this shit is in the universe of some other shit. I believe in stones, crystals, whatever it is the fuck you believe in. I believe it because this shit is, yeah. it can't be set up like that. Something had to be put together like that for y'all to be in the same type of area together. Yeah. So, and that so, shit, that shit dope. This nigga said Big Sean Dad gave him like the best advice. <laughs> he said, like a father only could. Like a father, only your daddy. When your daddy come to you and sit you down and be like, hey, look, let me talk to you for a second. You be like, all right, shit getting real. <laughs> let me, let me pay your attention. And that's yeah. gonna bring you out of being high anytime. Damn right. <laughs> that's gonna bring you out of being high anytime. Cause so, Big Sean I, Dad probably really was like, yo, Dave, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, uh, what the fuck what, are you really doing right now? Fuck that. Enough about Dave Chappelle, nigga. Let's get into this. Eric Badu. To the next one. I mean, I was about to. I was about to. Bust the invisible. The what you say? The invisible movie. intelligence. Shit, my nigga. The invisible intelligence that runs through the streets. That bitch started talking to me and my goddamn. Yeah, I was like, oh, this bitch. Ew, this bitch. What is? I don't know. Whatever type of voodoo her ass got. That shit is real. Yeah. <laughs> that shit is real. As we go, since she said it, let's we gotta give him his real shout out to Barry Gordy, man. Like, oh yeah, he yeah. started all this Detroit shit. Like shout out to Barry Gordy. He put, he made everything go. He made it. He gave them they they voice, and now everybody hit that shit. Everybody. Yeah, yeah, no. Erica good. just thought like. I felt like I was meditating listening to her fucking <laughs> talk on that skit. You lock in. When Erica started talking, you lock in. I see why Andre uh, 3000 was out there looking like a homeless nigga earlier. Yeah. Like, That's the reason that Common was wearing fucking leg warmers on his on his forearms. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think she got Kendrick ass too. That's why the nigga be tripped out sometimes. I'm telling you that that pussy gotta be. What you say? In power, he was just looking for Erica Badu. Yeah, that's all. You he know, he played the crackhead on power and shit. He played it perfect. Yeah, <laughs> played it perfect. He won't even act. He didn't know he was on camera. He thought he was just looking for her. I'm they was going you, through. She, he was going through withdrawals. She talking. Come Nubian Voltron, nigga. I was all through there. I was all <laughs> wherever you at. That's where I'm at. Where I'm trying to be where you at. So goddamn, if you can get her on your album, you solidify. <laughs> you yeah. solidify. Yeah. So, rest in peace, Jay Dilla, too, man. How you? Yeah, rest in peace, Jay Dilla. Exactly. Yo, if she said yo peculiar. Hey, look, she said yo peculiar, but it was it, man. Nobody understood it, but he understood. Peculiar intelligence. Yeah, hey, look, she said peculiar. I was like, yeah, that's exactly what it was. It was peculiar intelligence. Peculiar fucking intelligence. But you, I want to ask you specifically how you felt about Stevie Wonder's skit. So let's, uh, so we going on to the next one. Um, <laughs> Cause you already know how the fuck I felt, cause we talked. <laughs> but yo, so, so, at what point are we gonna motherfucking come to the realization that Stevie Wonder is not blind? Like, <laughs> the nigga keeps dropping motherfucking all all kind of hints and shit. <laughs> oh shit! The nigga said, "Oh, the first time I saw a piano, like nigga, you what?" <laughs> <laughs> You did what with the piano? Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Hey, yo. Hey, Stevie, wow, yo. Stevie's still out here getting these motherfucking dollars. But 
that's the biggest scam of finesse I've ever seen in my life. Like, I'm sorry. Ray oh, but Charles, you know the easiest way to not nigga, have to deal with... I don't you know believe the easiest way to not have to deal with motherfuckers, bro? Act blind. <laughs> <laughs> if niggas think you blind, bro, you never have to stop and talk to nobody ever. Never. Uh, I ain't got to deal with shit. Hey, yo. Hey, nah. Because if, if people think you blind, hey, nobody you can ever run up on you and be like, yo, I know you saw me at the party. Nigga, I can't see. <laughs> I, I, nigga, I saw you at the party, nigga. I don't even know. Nigga, all I saw was the back of my fucking eyelids. Nigga, I, didn't, I can't see nothing. But, yes. That, that whole story was wild. It was wild listening to. But at the same time, you know, only thing I could think in my head... Just me being me, I was like, that nigga Nip did say he wants Stevie singing at his, his funeral. I said, Nip, this he nigga Nip is funny ass nigga, bro. That nigga, what? Well, that nigga said, I don't care if that nigga, he, either he blind or he not blind. That nigga can make a hit. Nigga, put that nigga at my funeral. He got I was that like, shit. yeah. And he got that shit, so. And Stevie still out here finessing. My nigga Obama spoke at this nigga's funeral, man. Like, that shit is. Yeah, Obama yeah. sent the letter. I'm sorry. Obama sent the fuck, man, come on, man. The president sent you a fucking letter? I don't give a fuck who's in office, nigga. The president <laughs> sent but, you a letter? Hey, but look, though, because we all know what that's about. But mm -hmm. how you feel about the intro to Big Sean's album? I liked it. It was actually a perfect intro. I believe it. It was actually, f for this album, it was actually the perfect intro. A lot of people don't. Understand. I like the name, nigga. Why would I stop? Y'all <laughs> like, yeah. counting yeah. me out, nigga? Like, why the fuck would I stop? A true finesse. Yeah, hey, look, I'm going to keep running this shit up. Nigga, I was about to die. Like, he hit them niggas with the, I was about to die. And I came back to life and now started making millions of dollars. Nigga, y'all got me fucked <laughs> up. I'm about to run this shit up. Why would yeah. I stop? That nigga started the shit. This shit, the antidote that cured the cancer flow. Like, oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, like he he went in, bro. Like, I believe it. I believe it. But if you haven't noticed, or a lot of people that don't notice, go back and listen to all Big Sean intros on all his shit. On all his shit. Because the old Detroit, when that nigga said he was the Superman in his city, nigga. And oh, yeah. now niggas understand he is the Superman to his city. <laughs> The like, is like, nigga, he been talking that shit. Niggas just ain't been locked in and tuned in like they was before, but it's understandable, yeah. though. And there's a few thing. bad lowest lanes I can't name. Man, <laughs> hey, like, hey, look, like, hey, like, the nigga been fucking the hell out of bitches, <laughs> taking care of the city. He said, how, um, he said, I deal with some shit that I can't explain. Cause he, he was like, like living, not living in my city, yeah. But I'm telling y'all, that's my city. Like, they, like nigga, that I shit still is treat it like Metropolis. That's one of my favorite shits, too. That, uh, the shit with, um, Cole, like, I, I fuck with that whole album. The yeah. whole, the whole, it was, hard to, it was hard to look at this album as, like, nigga, everybody who put, because I'm a Ross fan, but I'm gonna say Port of Miami, too. Was, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it won't. It, it had his shit, but it won't. It won't like that. This if is he, possible to it, be like that. I'm gonna tell you how wild it is. If he wouldn't have named it that, I probably would have liked it more. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. he would have named it just some random boss, boss, boss shit name, I would have loved the album. I mean, I love the album, but it just won't. Uh, I feel it. Following foot, it's like yo. Caught it. It was it was Carter Four after hearing one, two, and three. Yeah, cause Carter four to yeah. me Carter four won't. You know what I'm saying, but we talk and about look, Big Sean right now. <laughs> but we talk about Big Sean, and let's not now get too off track. About lucky me. Now we gonna yes. talk about Lucky me. That's why I was going with it. I'm glad you went there. Um, yeah. Yo, so this is the first time of me hearing that I didn't know the nigga had a heart condition. Yeah. And went to a fucking holistic doctor and got this shit cured after the fucking regular doctors was like, "Yo, let's just put Baby. a pacemaker on that shit and see what happens." R.I.P. Dr. Seven. Yeah, hey, look, hey, look, he been telling niggas. <laughs> he been telling niggas. Fuck with Dr. Seven because he teaching health. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, yeah. 
Hey, look, some it ain't it ain't what we think it is. So that's that's big yeah. to just put on here right now. Anyway, this this is people talking their truth. This is big John. Yeah. That's why I fuck with them. It's people talking their truth. Like nigga, I was about to die, nigga. <laughs> Yeah. Y'all trying to figure out where I'm at at the control and all this other shit, nigga. I was about to die, like nigga. I, I started this shit early. Yeah. Like one of my favorite out. lines. That, he got quotables in that whole shit. Yeah, the nigga say, um, "The only the only thought that comforts me is starving whoever's hunting me." Like, yeah. like nigga, you'll never, <laughs> you'll never get the chance. Shit, what do you say? Shit, lucky me to be rich in the world. When nothing's free and separated from hell by one degree. Yeah, because the nigga is out here. He like, y'all niggas thinking this shit one thing. This shit's something different. But I'm going to take it, though. <laughs> but I'm going to take it, though. I'm going I'm to get to it. I'm going to get to it. And as long as I'm getting to it, like, it's this niggas talking real shit over beats who good at lyrics. Yeah. And to the point where these people are getting in these bags now. Like, I don't care who you think you are with this shit. I can give you bars. Yeah, and then on top of that, after I'm done giving you bars, I'm about to change my beat, and I'm about to turn this bitch into some whole other shit. While I'm just, <laughs> and you know, why the whole deep reverence shit was so crazy. And when the nigga said, "I finally reached out to Kendrick," it mm-hmm. was like, "Nigga, y'all have the same type of flow." Kendrick yeah. is a nigga all day. I fucks with and him, and it was like this before before exactly. the, the bullshit. They have the same flow. It's like, I can't understand why y'all niggas beefing. It looked like you trying to take my shit. I'm trying to take your shit. Yeah. But we in two different lanes. But to where Kendrick is from the West Coast, then this nigga is just from You from the Midwest. Shit. It's like, like yeah. nigga, it looked like you trying to take my shit. And then when he started talking about egos, he set everything out on deep reverence right there what it was. After the shit with Nip, I had to call Kendrick, like, hey, yo, what the fuck is we beefing over? Like, if there is any problem, it is what it is type shit. And I got that, and I understood that. I've always been saying that Big Sean on uh, the joint with Khaled, what was the shit with Khaled? I felt like on Major Key. Yeah, yeah. The joint Major Key, Big Sean devoured that whole verse. Yeah. Kendrick struggled. Kendrick struggled after that first verse he had. Kendrick struggled, and you know what Kendrick did? They changed the beat, and he changed. Well, they didn't change the beat per se. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah. Changed his verse per se to the point where it was like he went to a whole nother level. He went into spaceship Kendrick. Yeah. And I'm like, I've watched you do this shit to Big Sean too many times, and him not do it. He yeah. can do it, but he doesn't do it. I watched you do it in control. I watched you do it in major key. And I haven't seen him hit that switch. And lucky yeah. me, he hit that switch when the beat changed. And then he took <laughs> off. And I was like, see, this is the nigga I've been waiting for. <laughs> this, this is the nigga I've been waiting for. Like, stop letting these niggas just. On oh, niggas next. <laughs> but yeah, what's another shit up there? I like, he was talking that shit, man. Oh, um, what'd he say? Had my hand on the R&B legends you couldn't handle. Whether you do music or not, you wish you could sample. And I had to live through the scandals, public humiliations, and breakups on camera. It's a living nightmare where your dream girl gets has to get canceled. Like, yeah. That nigga done been through some shit, man. That nigga tired of dealing with that shit. Niggas don't even like putting that shit on Facebook because you got to deal with it in the memories, nigga. Like, uh, like you niggas, know, this nigga dealing with I know shit. a lot of niggas can't relate. A lot of y'all can't relate. But when you bag the joint that you've been wanting forever and you get it, you like, yo, she ain't it. Like, I gotta cancel this. I gotta cancel this. Ah. Like, any, any nigga who know, like, who move a certain way, like, you know, yeah, like, you yo, nigga, that shit is the worst you feeling know ever. The, hey, look, you know the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes. You know how you gotta move. You know how yeah. you gotta operate. Cause some niggas yeah. don't bag the joints that they actually like. They, they hey, gotta look, <laughs> And he's telling you the whole time, like, nigga, I've been doing this shit. You don't know who I'm hitting. That nigga Big Sean could have been hitting Rihanna back in the day, probably. Like, nigga, they was both booming. Like, like it, 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 you don't, you wouldn't know it coming from Big Sean, because, for one, at the end of the day, Janae probably got down and sliced one of these hoes throat. Like, she, she from Slauson. And I, I was about I, to I, say, she like, still. That, 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 hey, look, that bitch is different. 
I'll be wondering why people don't be fucking with her. They they leave her a lot like Janae, Janae, Janae from the hood. The corrupt, yeah. she got the corrupt cosign, nigga. It's Janae. Uh, and you know she got damn half. Half black and half goddamn Asian, so yeah. nigga, them Asian ties probably thick too. Like, why you, you, we done seen your movies, nigga. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just but nah, like comedy, comedy. <laughs> <laughs> but nah, I mean that shit real. Like, you got to delete the photos and shit. Like, you never Instagrammed it. Hey, that nigga, that nigga was saying a whole bunch of shit about some hoes. That's how I know at the same time, Big Sean, you my nigga, but you be getting in your bag about these hoes. You be getting in your bag about these hoes. But that's for another time. We understand you trying to give them your energies, nigga, but yeah. at the same time, you gotta you better stop putting your foot down, nigga. Cause that pussy fairy goddamn told us everything about you, nigga. <laughs> hey, nigga. They told us everything. Nigga, about she you. started the song with I know you love fucking me. <laughs> that nigga was like, yup. That nigga was like, yup, sure do. <laughs> On God. <laughs> so I right, it's time. Drum roll. Yeah, oh motherfucking roll. Drum roll. It's time. Cause looking at your shirt, this is where this this song all started at, even though it's yeah, all yeah, oh, oh, even shit. though it's oh, all shit. Detroit niggas. Yeah, my niggas out here. <laughs> Even Hit though it's all Detroit niggas. Instagram, you looking you looking for these? Hit me on Instagram, H yeah. underscore boogie757. You already know. Yeah. Me. Even though the song is all Detroit niggas, it's about 50,000 of them niggas hey, on look. one track. My nigga, hold on. Shout out one time, my nigga T Grizzly. Hold on. Shout out my nigga T Grizzly. You T. on Grizzly. hold on, hold on. You the nigga that's been holding down, well, outside of Royce, but people who don't listen to lyrics don't want to listen to Royce. Mm-hmm. So, uh, T Grizzly, who I always wondered from Detroit, he was the face of Detroit right now for me. It won't even Big Sean at one point right now, as of right now. As of, yeah, nah, like, T Grizzly, because Big Sean been, he been away. He been, but he been quiet. Yeah, he been quiet. And now we know why he has been quiet. <sighs> so now putting all this shit together. This nigga does the Friday night cycle. And I look at this shit like once I saw the track list, I was like, oh, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> let's see. Let's see where we going with this. Let's see where we going with this. And when I seen T Grizzly, I know knowing Big Sean's albums and mixtapes and all that, the person who's featured first is the person that's going first. That's yeah. the person that's going. Yeah, this shit is actually in order. Yeah, when I saw T Grizzly, I said, "Okay, I fuck with Big Sean because it's like this is the oop." Like I said, he throws the yeah. oop, nigga. You the nigga that's been holding down Detroit since I've been gone. Mm-hmm. You get the first verse, and you better come out this bitch. And I'm telling you, the song that you better put this verse on is a cipher that's gonna have everybody that I know from Detroit on that bitch. That's fire. So you better go, and, and T, I'm gonna give you a beat. And T did not motherfucking fail expectations. He didn't. He didn't. And the first thing he said, <laughs> this is how I knew this shit was gonna be fire. When the <laughs> nigga came on, he said, "Oh, this that clip sample." I said, "This that oh, clip man. sample." Hey, look, I said, "This nigga probably got them got blazed up, got drunk. This nigga all probation, all that <laughs> shit. He could do whatever the fuck he want to do." Yeah, cuz yo, I felt like it was a real cipher. Like, oh shit. It was. This that, this that clip sample. Like, I know they probably want all in that bitch together, but I know some of them was in that bitch at one point in time together to where they <laughs> that shit based off of what T Grizzly came in. It was like that nigga looked back and said, Oh, this that clip sample. All right, I <laughs> oh, got this some clips. Oh. Sa- oh. Oh, Fuck right. it, let the clip slap him. Y'all, y'all trying to play with me. Y'all trying to play with Fuck me. Fuck the talk, this- let the clip slap him. <laughs> and this the song that everybody from... Hey, look, I ain't got time for you rapper niggas. I'm about to goddamn get up here and talk my shit. What that nigga like, say? What he say is too much to give me cash. They had to wire me the back end. Yeah, they... <laughs> hey, look, when niggas get the back end... <laughs> when niggas get the back end, nigga, you feel like a whole different type nigga. Like you feel like a whole different type nigga. Like, Cause that's a different <laughs> level of money, nigga. Well, money, yeah. That's <laughs> like, nigga, like, nigga, you just about to give me all this money? You give me that shit, nigga. We out. 
Like, nigga, like, nigga, fuck it. And I'm good at doing this shit. <laughs> and I'm good at doing this shit. So just how it started, I already knew. So how did you feel about the next artist? That- if he, if y'all don't know what we talking about so far, we talking about the Friday night motherfucking Detroit Cypher. That's not the name of it. It's just the Friday night Cypher. We gonna call it the Friday night Detroit Cypher. It's motherfucking T Grizzly, Cash Dog, Cash Kid, Payroll, 42 Doug, Bodie James, Drago, Sada Baby, Royce, and we gonna let y'all, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> we ain't, gonna, yeah, that, we ain't gonna say the last person. You'll get there when we fucking get there. But uh, <laughs> I think Cash Dog smoked that shit. Especially being the only female up there too. We talked about this before. Other than the last person, that's the best verse I got up on the motherfucker. Cash Dog snap. She yeah. snapped. Yeah. She fucking snapped. <laughs> and that's what made me feel like it was a fry, a real. It was like when I say T Grizzly looked back, I felt like he looked back at Cash Dog. It was like, oh, this that clip sample? Okay. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look. All right. Like, bitch, you, you say, say you can hang? All and her I bitches like, fin- winning. She don't know how I feel to lose. Nigga trying to get the box like he trying to move. What? So simple, but so motherfucking like. I done heard so many niggas say her name in songs to the point when I'm like, oh, okay, these niggas really trying to put this bread up. These niggas really want some of this shit because they know she got bars. Yeah, and I know that it's nigga shit. It's like, you see a bitch that can rap her ass off and she bad and everybody knows she can rap. <laughs> Look at Papoose, nigga. That nigga is quite, that nigga stopped rapping for real. That nigga got that pussy and went silent, nigga. That nigga is like, real. I don't need that this shit. no more. Nah, y'all got it. I'm a chill. Y'all know I'm nice. Fuck this shit. <laughs> hey, look, I'm with Rim, nigga. Fuck out. She going to jail. I'll wait. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wait. That pinnacle line, that shit, that the way she that pinnacle flip was fire. That's <laughs> that Detroit shit. That's that Detroit shit. That's and that. then when she got at the end of that shit, she said that this A plus pussy worth a B. And then you hear the niggas in the back say, Oh. <laughs> and then she, <laughs> Y'all niggas ain't worth a B. And I'm like, ain't none of them niggas worth a B. I'm like, <laughs> just like, stop talking to these niggas like this. It's disrespectful because one of these niggas gonna punch you in the face. Like, baby, baby stop. Slow down. Like, slow yeah, down. what you say? She cross her eyes and dot her T's. She can either put you six feet or put you on your feet. What's up? Like, which way you want to? Nigga, don't talk to me like that. Don't talk to me like that. Now I got to beat you up. Like, no. nigga, I can change your life and I'll let you depend on which way I do it. Like, nigga, I can... Now I gotta beat you up. I gotta beat you up now. Homie. I can either put you, you on your feet or put you six feet. Nigga, which one you want to do? Bitch, you about to get knocked out. Like, I gotta, I gotta... I, and I don't believe in domestic violence, but if you disrespect a man like that, that's disrespectful. And she yeah. told them... Hey, look, she told them niggas that shit in the cypher. And then said, so this pussy... Not me as a person, but this pussy is worth a billion dollars. And ain't none of y'all niggas as a whole worth a billion dollars. That's disrespectful. But I love it though. She had she had the second best verse on now. Yeah, I mean she on went the- in. She went in. Yeah. So how you feel about cash kid? I die in my dream sometimes too. <laughs> he said, I've been with my dream sometimes. You know, that's how you started this shit. I mean, I yeah, hey, look, look, I'm sitting there like, okay, I'm not familiar with him like that. So I, I'm going to be honest. This is the first time I've heard of him. Yeah, yeah. This I'm is the first time I've heard of him. So I'm like, let me listen to it. But when he put the uh, the ratchet, the, hey, I look, put a look, body look, on a ratchet like Dr. Miami. Hey, look, I was like, I'm, I might go listen to this up on my mixtape. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to this guy more. Let me go uh interview because that bar, I like honestly, I was listening to it the whole and I was like, okay, okay. And when he said that bar, I stopped and I was like, damn. <laughs> I, I was like, damn, that nigga said that shit. And I had to go back so I could listen to the rest of the verse to actually remember what he said. But the second time that I did it and I got to that bar again, I had to stop and go back yeah. again. I was like, that nigga did just say that shit. I was like, damn. I was like, fuck. I was like, that's a hard-ass bar. It's a simple bar, but it's a hard bar. Yeah. 
I mean, the whole the whole little interaction of the shit that he said, like, what do you say? Get triggered down, Janae Aiko. Got to keep the Glock and the fanny. Nigga, you not finna hand me. Put a body on the ratchet like Dr. Miami. Like, all right. I'll punch you in your face, nigga. <laughs> and we was yeah, battle rapping, like, nigga. But nah, that shit, that shit was hard. That was a standout bar in that shit. Yeah, that, it definitely was a standout the bar. The verse itself ain't in like the the the, the first three, but the it, yeah, it wasn't I mean, whack it, by no means. It won't whack by no, no means. No, not at all. Every like I said, everybody's verse on this album as a whole was oh hard. yeah, it was fire. Yeah, it, whatever everybody contributed to this album was hard. It was exactly what it needed to be. So I yeah. knew, I knew at this point, nigga, you got all these Detroit people on this song, nigga. Everybody gonna have a hot bar because you don't want. You learn from control, nigga. You yeah. learn. You learn shit. You learn shit. So. Uh, before we get back to it, control was so crazy that niggas forgot that Jay Electronica was up there. Yeah. All right, all right. Back to the album review. <laughs> back to the back to the album review. Yeah. But um, hold on. Who was next? I'm tripping. I don't even know. I'm tripping. Was it Forty Two Doug next? Nah, nah. It was somebody before Forty Two. Um, payroll. The nigga payroll, payroll, yeah, payroll, yeah, payroll, yeah. payroll. I was like, I, cause I was thinking, and 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 that's another one that's funny at the end of deep reverence when they was talking about. He said payroll was another nigga that he would rap with. Yeah, so I, yeah. I just, I just remember hearing the verse, and the verse was solid. I was like, the verse is solid. And then the next person I was really ready to listen to was Forty Two Doug. Yeah, fucking person. And I was like, I cause. That shit with Lil Baby was tough. That shit with Lil Baby Oh, was yeah, tough. yeah, yeah. And then he got on all the Lil Baby shit on his album, and that shit was tough. Um, Lil Baby don't miss, though, man. <laughs> like, I've been you know, telling niggas before he, like, became who he is. Like, he don't miss. Yeah, that, that 42 Doug verse, that his his voice. For one, his voice is different. He sound like a little-ass kid. Yeah. Uh, he is. You Have you seen this nigga? I know, like, like, but that's why <laughs> this, nigga, this nigga could be 32 years old and we wouldn't know. Like, like, this nigga, like, when the nigga say he did fair time, I was like, God damn, hold up, let me go. <laughs> like, nigga, was you in time out, nigga? What the fuck? <laughs> like, <laughs> what are you doing, nigga? Like, nigga, I can't take you soon. <sighs> but then when I start, when I saw Big Sean had put him on the shit, I'm like, let me see if he's doing this for the fact of I'm just putting the new niggas from Detroit on. Yeah. Or I'm a. Uh, I believe in this artist. To me personally, I feel like this was the aspect where he put a hot nigga right now from Detroit on. Yeah. And that was like, I'm putting, I'm helping you get on because I know what it's like type shit. And so at that aspect of it, me looking at it like that, I felt like that was dope of him. Yeah. But 42 Doug got on that bitch. This yeah. nigga started talking the young. Ratchet, like nigga, we ain't fuck that. We shoot niggas up. We, fuck, we get money. Fuck that shit. If we miss that nigga, we gonna double back, nigga. We gonna kill you, motherfucker. Don't worry, buddy. We gonna spin again. Hey, look, we gonna kill your motherfucking ass. And then the beat changes. And then the beat changes. And it's like, right, now they done switch from the clip sample to the locks. Yeah. And I'm like, all right, here we go. I'm like, here we go. This shit about to start getting live. And they, they gonna make it off the F. Hey, look, hey, look. Get a half, then I shake it. <laughs> Bodie, right. but yo, nigga, sleep on Bodie James, man. His actually, he yeah. actually dropped the project a couple weeks ago, and this shit was a hype. Yeah, man. I'm telling you, man. It's it's a lot of people that gotta listen to certain things and do certain things, and it's it's just crazy how shit goes sometimes, man. Like I, I, I feel like some of these artists deserve more, but it's like you gotta put more work in. Yeah. Yeah, like everybody got good bars now, nigga. Everybody, nigga. So you just gotta figure out what your lane is, how you wanna rap, what you wanna do with it. But it's a lot of niggas that got bars that I can I be like, ah, right, you nice, huh? But bars and, don't bars don't equate to making good music. Yeah, exactly. 
And wow. that's why when it comes to shit like that, when I hear, when I look and I see these people's names, I already know you. I like don't it. say. I already know where you. I already know where you want to go with it. Let's yeah. let's let's leave. Let's let that man live. He's been going through enough in this last week. Uh, nah, nah. But I know exactly where you want to go with it. But nah. the nigga can rap his ass off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he true. won't own this Detroit motherfucking Friday Night Cypher because he's from Jersey. Yeah, yeah. He was <laughs> this nigga. I'm definitely not talking about that. I don't want nothing <laughs> to do with none of that shit. Hey, look. <laughs> but anyway, that uh, the way I ain't tell no lies though. That nigga raps his nah, ass off. Yeah, yeah, definitely that. But when it comes <laughs> when it comes to this Detroit shit, that. and I saw how this this shit was lined up, I really after 42 Doug, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Everything was a blur to me until I got to Royce. I heard it. Yeah, it was Big good. Sean, like it, so. Oh, oh okay. I, and well, excuse his me. verse was it was it was okay. And um, the what's the nigga Drago? It wasn't. He didn't really say nothing memorable. Big Sean, Big Sean gave me a control verse. Yeah, but when the beat changed, he did his shit. Like yeah. I said, when the beat changed, he did his shit, which kept him relevant. Yeah, and. Then I kind of got the Royce. And when I got the Royce, I wanted Royce to be a different way than he was on the track. So hold on. Because there's somebody before Royce and after Big Sean. Hold up. Look, this nigga, I see your face, cuz. We got it. He on his song, bro. Whether you want to talk about it or not, we not going to let Sada Baby verse not get talked about. Hey, look, we need to take a break, bro. Hey, look, we need to take a break. Hey, look, we we not hey, all right. We gonna get back to it, but we because I gotta pull me up some more for this side of baby shit. I gotta pull me up some more for this side of baby. Shit. Look, man, he putting church's chicken on your niggas. Scrape them boys for half a biscuit. Do you hear me? Hey, look, man. I'm not dealing with none of that. Listen, the nigga. I'm happy for the nigga making it, but it's just like. The hype over Sada Baby to me was just, but he rapped like himself on it. That's why I just kind of was like, all right, you rap like his y'all. You can tell me more about Sada Baby. I just don't like the dancing, bro. I don't, I don't like the yeah, dancing. Yeah, well, he wasn't dancing in the cypher. He was just talking about how niggas bitches gonna eat the dick, lick both balls, and but do it to me. But that's the visual I done got of this man ever since I done seen him. Oh, you talking he, about the Uzi show that he be doing? And he always twerking. <laughs> and he always twerking or doing something and dancing and and vibrating and all that. But I'm not saying vibrating. he's off at all. Yep. I don't know this man. I don't know his. So until man. next week, we ain't even gonna finish. This nigga said vibrating. I can't. I can't deal with this kind of. <laughs> thing. I can't all deal with other, all that other shit that nigga doing. But the verse was solid. I'm not no hater to the point of I'm not gonna say the verse was hot. The verse was solid. The verse was solid. <laughs> it just wants your preferred verse. <laughs> my preferred, you know, it ain't my team. So let's get to Royce though. Cause we only got one more verse out of the Royce and then we wrapping this shit up. But Royce, Royce is Royce. Royce is gonna talk that shit, man. Yeah, Royce, Royce was talking to the people, you know, as Royce does, but as also Royce is giving you bars. He's giving you intelligence. Yeah, I think a lot of people need to soak up and understand where he coming from. You know what I'm saying? He he done seen the industry. He done seen life. He done seen Detroit. He done seen all of this shit. He a Detroit nigga who done been all around the world. Like, nigga, let yeah. me talk to y'all for a minute. She so, either rolling with the owners or the leases. I wanted him to, I wanted him to, I wanted him to go beef with Eminem type shit. <laughs> I wanted him to go. I wanted him. I wanted to see that Royce. Yeah. I wanted to see that Royce. So I'm just like to a point now where if you're not giving me that on this type of Friday, because his last album was crazy. Yeah. His like allegory, it was crazy. I thought he was gonna go harder than he did, but his verse was, it was hard. Yeah. Was hard. What you think about it? He survived getting friended by Alina's cousin. Yeah. <laughs> like, 
Kane ain't survived. Niggas, niggas, niggas don't even know who that is. <laughs> hey, look, some niggas don't even know who that is. If you watch Minister yeah. Society, when hey, you look. see this again, this gonna be your favorite line. <laughs> hey, look, hey, look, niggas don't even know who that is. They looking like who the Lena? Who the fuck is Alina? <laughs> Is that somebody he knows? Like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, and he said, well, we, we've been thugging world where I got arenas buzzing. Like, yo, Royce, Royce says a lot of shit that you got to, you got to let that shit marinate and then come back to it. And be like, okay, let me get that on the second. But yeah. he did his thing. He definitely did his thing. And are you ready now? Saying? The plight of the rich is to throw you in jail. There the fight go. has been fixed since the opening bell. Yep. You know who posting your bell? Who promoting your L? <laughs> who be hoping you fail? Nigga Oprah and Gail. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, hey look, nigga said that shit. Hey look, nigga said that shit. Nigga <laughs> like, Damn. when Big Sean said that shit on the other track, he was like, I never thought I'd see the day my mama don't agree with Oprah and Gail. I never thought I, I'm like, this shit, wow. He telling y'all this shit out here wild, bro. Y'all, y'all think it's a joke, but this shit yeah. out here wild. But before we get to it, that that last line that he said before he left out was, I think it went over a lot of niggas' head when he said they call Leo a great, but make docs about Russell. Mm. But make 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 Russell docs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make yeah. rape Russell docs. Couldn't get yeah. this shit out. I'm drunk. <laughs> like, I don't know how, that nigga from Detroit. That's how he got that shit out, nigga. nigga I told you, that's that Detroit too. I'm, I'm drunk. I can't get like it out. You can't rap like a. But like, but, yeah, yeah. That's that's. I'll let y'all research that as you want to. Just yeah, but that's crazy because he's like I said, he's been in the industry. He's been all around the world. Like he yeah. he has seen this shit. He's seen how ugly yeah. this shit. He's seen how wild shit gets. So. Leo Cole and Russell Simmons, and I'm I ain't saying nothing else because they ain't finna blackball us before we even get started. You better, you better be quiet, nigga, for this <laughs> last episode. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want to get Epstein. So the last verse on this Friday night cipher was. To be expected, but still so unexpected. The greatest lyricist. Who? The I almost say it. I almost say it. I almost say it. The greatest lyricist in hip hop. The king of just putting syllables. I, and shit I can't together. speak for nobody else. I can't speak for nobody else. I almost say it. It was between him and one other person, but some other person don't like ever hold on man in. this 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 one person this this person that you speak of said that it's himself that he's not the greatest he said I, it I goes it he said red man is the greatest actually hey look but who who, who? he said it goes reggie jay-z tupac who? and biggie andre from outcast jay the corrupt Nas, and then me uh, hey look if y'all don't know we talking about the fucking white boy of white boys man we talking about him and them we talking man. about marshall motherfucking mathers man Man, hey, look, that motherfucker did exactly what we all thought he was gonna do on that motherfucker. <laughs> the nigga did exactly what we thought he was gonna do. Talk and when the shit. Clip, and when the, the clip, I told you beforehand, when the beat changed back to the clip sample, I was like, that nigga M heard T <laughs> That nigga, hey, look. Oh, it's that clip sample? <laughs> hey, look, look. I, I felt like that nigga M was behind Cash Dog. I told you, hey, it was M. Cash Dog and T Grizzly was the one that set this shit off. <laughs> T Grizzly, I, I felt like I was in the motherfucking studio and that nigga T Grizzly looked back and was like, oh, this that clip sound? <laughs> <laughs> and Cash Dog was standing right there, but it was in the back looking like, little nigga, you done fucked up. Because remember, T Grizzly, and the only reason I say this, he T said Grizzly that shit about him on the that shit about him right before this shit happened. This thing, he was like, I finally want to be on an Eminem track. <laughs> this is the Eminem track, and Royce, <laughs> and and Royce verse. Remember, Royce tried to save the nigga. Yeah, Royce tried to save the nigga. Royce was like, Hey, look, and, it won't mean like that. Like, and like, then he you know dissed him, and then M was like, Fuck him. Don't piss this nigga off, cause if you piss this nigga off, <laughs> it's gonna go there with the bars, and on top of that, this white boy's just crazy. He just don't give a fuck. He don't care about all the shit that you would think is morally right. He don't give a fuck. But he trying to get his life together, so leave this nigga alone. And then, so Royce, when I heard Royce verse, and it was weak, 
I, I can't, well, excuse me, weaker than usual. Yeah. No, weaker than what I thought it was going to be. And then, then the beat changed to the clip sample. I was like, oh, shit. Eminem about the goddamn. You put T Grizzly on the beginning and then put Eminem on the end, bro. No. <laughs> you have <laughs> you have never set up a clever what did he say? rhyme ever. Like I said, Jesus Christ, it is thing go. I knew it. As soon as I heard him start that shit off like that, I was like, here we go. This shit about to be bad. Y'all niggas better strap in because this nigga don't give a fuck. <laughs> and he, and he about to snap. And they said, if you pull up with a stick, it's a car with a manual transmission. Transmission. <laughs> yeah, that, nigga, I'm just sitting here like, bro, this nigga is snapping the whole verse. And then when he got to the logic shit, I'm like, oh, this white on white crime, this shit about to go a yeah. whole nother way. Voodoo dolls, I'm like, just poking fun. Pins to me are like loaded. <laughs> nigga, bro. Double entendres is fucking bananas, man. And then he, <laughs> and then, and then as it moved towards the end, as in, because we're definitely not going to sit down and break bar for bar everything. Nah, say. we may just this verse, but that's not going to be today. It's not, we mm -hmm. might just get that shit his own little. That shit, that's a whole nother hour and a half. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's just one of them things where it's like, bro, once he got to the end and he, he, he switched his flow to the yeah. fast. Big Sean need to beat the change. What they don't understand is Eminem don't need to beat the change to go from 50 miles an hour to 130 miles an hour. Yeah. He can just start that shit whenever the fuck you feel like it. And so once he did it and every word still sounded crisp and the way it needed to be, I was like, all right, bro. Yeah. You got it. I just don't think it would be logic for him to say that he's retiring. Nah. But he man. should say bye-bye, Earthlings. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, hey, look, like, I'm, I'm just saying that's it's not for you, sir. It's not for you. I'm a wild nigga, and and please don't. He been killing too many white boys. He been killing yeah. too many white boys. So I mean, he tired of it. Like, leave me alone. I didn't cross the picket line, y'all niggas ain't cross the picket line. Y'all will never cross the picket line. I got in here early, and they still don't like me. But I still, but they can't deny me. Yeah. So I mean, it is a bit. But. And went crazy. What do you say? So when I'm ripping, it's hard to tell if I'm how, rather if I'm reading around. I'm drunk as a man. <laughs> <laughs> I can read, y'all. Fuck y'all. That's why I don't. <laughs> that's why I don't even fuck with Eminem. Only Eminem I will ever know for fact. So really when good. I'm ripping, it's hard to tell whether. Damn. Now I'm pressing shit. <laughs> whether it, boy, it is really boy, because boy. of how offensive yeah. I am, or if it's just a bitch that you are. <laughs> why, that nigga. Man, he was talking. Am I offending you because I'm really offensive, or because it's really because you sensitive and you a bitch? Bitch, and you a bitch, <laughs> and you a bitch. That's a because he been trying to get his life together, and he was like, "Hold up, maybe I'm not tripping. Maybe won't nothing wrong with me, and something wrong with y'all, motherfucker." <laughs> like at the end of the day, he a white boy who don't know what side of the fence he gonna be on, but yeah. at the same time, he know he's crazy as hell. Like yeah, I make sure yeah. every sentence is barred with the pencil is sharp and I'm quick on the draw. So when I pull it surprise, like Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> like I ain't never and like I ain't never buy my clothes at St. Vincent de <laughs> Like this nigga, the nigga, man, when I tell you, bro, like this nigga is different. He just different. And for you. To get the Eminem verse that you got, you got to be somebody. And that just goes, like I said, to this whole album, to who Big Sean is. Bro. Like Big Sean, Big Sean is at an echelon now where it's like a Snoop type shit. But look, so we not going, so we going to ignore the Nick Cannon diss? And I'm tired of that shit. That shit is. But the bar was hard though. We going to ignore it? And uh, you need hey, to boy, walk the yellow brick road and find a chick with the dog because all you missing is heart. Plus, your bitch giving out brains like the Wizard of Oz. Listen, we knew he's never gonna let Mariah live. I don't want to no, let no, the world no, know never, that. Like, never, like that's why I said we know what that shit is. When that I beef is never gonna die. He was about to put some shit out, like a memoir or something. And Eminem was scared. I'm like, Eminem scared of what? That nigga whole life been on display to everybody. That nigga don't give a shit. <laughs> Oh, this nigga went to war with the whole gay community 
<laughs> like yeah, the early mean, early two thousands, bro. Like with all that Elton John shit. Like I don't think he worried about no fucking Mariah Carey shit. You think that nigga give a fuck of Mariah Carey saying somebody, bitch, you suck my dick, <laughs> bitch, you gave me head, bitch, I win, nigga, it's over with. But that that whole Nick Cannon shit is like I didn't expect him to even respond to that. So him just throwing a couple bars in there, just. I mean, I knew it was gonna come, <laughs> like. But it's giving it, out it, brains it, it, like the Wizard of Oz. Like, I knew it was coming at some like some kind of subliminal. Yeah, but it's 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 Nick Cannon. You don't have to say nothing. Look at where what happened to Nick Cannon. Yeah. yeah exactly. Like so it's <laughs> like I take, but M is that petty to take the time out just to give him a couple bars. Just cause you try you you put four disses out on me. Nigga, I'm gonna give you something, nigga. Like I understand that. Yeah. But but he finished up. He finished up, and and that's what it was. It's it really felt like a cipher, and that's what I was. Yeah. With. It felt more like a cipher than the fucking BET cipher did. Yeah, and they was all there, and I could see them together. Yeah. Those shits was orchestrated. This shit sounded like niggas just ran up in that bitch. Like, oh no, fuck that nigga, move out of the way, my <laughs> turn, nigga. Like, and I was like, let's go. Nah, so. M M M killed that shit. So, who site? Well, like, I think this should become a thing. And if it does, y'all motherfuckers better give us our credit. So, who yeah. who do you think yeah. should be the next city to cipher? We know Chicago's never gonna do it because them niggas can't never get along long. <laughs> they can't get along long enough to. Bongo <laughs> so. kill everybody. Bongo kill everybody. Bongo. Nah, he good. They got a better verse than him. Go shoot them niggas. <laughs> in the middle of in the middle of, of in shooting the middle of the cycle, he go kill him. And then Dirk go pay for the hey look, and then Dirk go pay for the Lord. And then, and then Dirk go pay for the Lord. That's my nah but, man, I think I would like to see a uh probably a LA joint, man. I don't you gotta put too many people in there. It gotta it gotta be people. it gotta be like it gotta be somebody's song and they gotta be hand picked like Sean, because there's mad more Detroit niggas. Like, I'm sure Trick Trick gonna get somebody robbed because he won't on his mother. Because he won't on his shit. Not, tr- I don't even think Trick Trick care no more. Trick, nah, Trick, I don't Trick. think he don't rap no more. He just he do his business shit. Yeah, he's he's business he do his, his yeah, business. He's a business shit, man yeah. now. Like he a businessman yeah. now. Like so, I don't think he because he hasn't put out a song in a long. In a, in a yeah, song. yeah. So I think he. Just, but we know he ain't broke. Yeah, we know you better check the fuck in when you go. (laughs) Yeah, you better just check the fuck in when you go to Detroit. (laughs) You know know what? Just with all the uh, for the for the aspect of music, I want to see the Atlanta one. Yeah, well, see, that's what I was gonna say, but it's like, nigga, no, because they got a lot of shit on their chest. They got to get off. Like what, they've been running the game for the past fifteen years. But but what they got to fucking get off their chest? But with this baby shit, this nigga little baby done threw a whole corkscrew in this motherfucking Atlanta shit. Niggas don't know what to do, and niggas are starting to realize that they need this nigga. Yeah, and he robbing yeah. niggas on his that's his that's on, on his, his label. His <laughs> Look, he said, "Y'all niggas getting mad? Why y'all getting what y'all getting mad for? We just out here getting money. But if y'all want to go to some other shit, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> with that nigga. And, and it's hard. Well, yeah, uh, Atlanta shit would be hard, but." Now you but know who, who would be my Atlanta cipher? No. Uh-huh. Whoo! They probably gonna kill me because I'm, I'm 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 freestyling these names. I, I ain't even had time to sit and think about it. Hey, look, that's what makes it great. So it has to be like it, it got to be the same format as this, like two legends and then a bunch of newcomers or semi newcomers, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the two legends, uh. Three stacks would have to probably be one. Mm-hmm. Um, yo, this shit hard. <laughs> this shit, this shit hard. This shit feel like I'm picking dodgeball and all these niggas is lined up right here and I gotta just pick like five of them and tell the other five like, yo, y'all niggas can't play. That's what's going. That's what's going. Going to keep it going because now I want to see. Um, of course, little baby. Take off. Mm. Take a sleep on take off. Take off yeah, rap. That's a, tough, that's a tough pick, but I understand. Take off rap. And I think that'll be his, his showcase. 
I would have to I would have to get back to you. Fuck this. Fuck this question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this question, nigga. <laughs> Fuck this question. <laughs> I'm fucking with you, man, to put you on the spot. I had to fuck with you. <laughs> I tried, though. No, fuck this question. Yeah. You know, but the first three, I was like, nah, I can understand it. <laughs> yeah, but, um, no, because Atlanta got so many. Like like I said, yeah. they've been running the fucking industry for the past 15 years. Yeah. It's just, it's, it, but that's what I'm saying. It's so many people that you can pick from because the West Coast, I started thinking about Dom Kennedy. I started thinking about, all these other people like gang, yeah. Snoop, nigga, you gotta have you gotta have certain people up there. Well, Snoop nigga. from Long Beach, I said L.A. Oh, you just said L.A. Yeah, I yeah. A uh, Cali shit is too niggas. many of them niggas, cause then you yeah, gotta yeah. factor in the Bay Area niggas. Like, yeah, you gotta E40. I'm like, you gotta do. You a got Vince Staples and them niggas on from Sac Town. Like, it's so many niggas. Like, it gotta be like a, a city. Like Detroit That's is LA. a city. Just yeah, LA is a little easy, but it's still stuff. a lot of niggas. <laughs> yeah, just LA is stuff. But that's why yeah. I, that's how I feel about Atlanta. It's so many of them motherfuckers. Like I can't just. And then how many niggas we get to pick? Like, cause that fucking Friday Night Cypher is thirteen minutes long. Yeah. <laughs> shit, long as shit. You pick, however many niggas. I guess I guess one day when we do an album, another get luck. <laughs> we'll figure it out, but. Uh yeah, the album as a whole though, man. What you like, rate it? What you rate it? One to ten, I give it a nine. I gave it an eight point five. All right. Which I mean it's about the same, but I gave it an eight point five. Yeah, I gave it a nine. I gave it a nine. And like I said, we just went over a couple of tracks. There's plenty of other tracks up there that's yeah. We good. just hit the standouts and the sleepers. Like we ain't do that, that bad bitch yeah. shit. I fuck with that. Yeah, I like, fuck with um feed. Uh, yeah. yeah, I feed, fuck with feed. Yeah, feed was tough. They had a he had a he had a good a good amount of some other tracks up there, but we just giving y'all a little yeah. preview. Cause, you know, cause we'd be here it. all day. Cause we was gonna do a fucking uh a track by track shit, but nigga we. We got we got motherfucking Xbox to go jump on. We're not. Okay, niggas got. Nah, but, but yeah. Uh, what you want? So I give it. A, I give. I give them an eight point five. Um, definitely a, a motherfucking solid listen. Um, it's worth the buy for the people who still buy music. If you debating yeah. on if you should Matter purchase fact, it. That shit. Even if you don't go give it support. Yeah, like it's 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 worth ten dollars. Like, yeah. it's worth a number three at whatever fucking... I'm about to say, you gonna spin it in. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's, just gonna put that to something you gonna vibe to. It's, it's, it's worth a number three at whatever your favorite fast food restaurant is, because that's about what music costs now, so... So Ace, Ace, Ace Boogie go get a Detroit 2 and number nine. Yeah. <laughs> go go so. get the Lithuania burger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go get the Lithuania that. burger. Make, hey, look, and what? And make sure y'all subscribe. Make oh, yeah. Sure link <laughs> when they say down link down below, <laughs> goddammit. The so link like, down below. Like and subscribe. And don't be, uh, don't forget to comment. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so till next time. Who the next, who the next, um? Conway. The machine. Okay. The motherfucking so machine. Conway the machine is our next review. Mm -hmm. And king to the God. We will see who drops uh, next week. Well, oh, yeah. we're, well, yeah, actually we, tomorrow. We might have to do two. Week. We might have to do two next week. We might have to do two next week. I'm, I'm with, what pop smokes and with it all. Uh, <laughs> he's on with with all. whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga out there going on. Oh, my nigga's shit still booming. Like I said, RIP to all those we lost. Everybody that's going through it right now, we understand the situation, man. Just yes, sir. Stay positive. That's it. Take care of them babies. So we toast up. You already know, my boy. BYOB, make sure y'all follow the podcast. Till then. And we out. Woo.